Tingana is indeed having breakfast. He was hiding it down this fallen off branch all along and we had no clue that it was there. We were actually puzzled and wondering where he had it because there were so many good places for him to keep the kill. But it seems like somebody is hungry now that is a bit warmer and it seems to be a good portion of the kill still left in there. I can't see too well because I mean like we said he's just got it in a very tough spot to look at but that's probably why he chose that spot because very little would actually know like us humans that there was a kill there and it is funny because there's been about maybe four or five vehicles coming into this area where he's been today and pretty much none of us managed to find the kill or we knew that it was somewhere around but not quite there so it just points to how full of surprises and how clever these creatures are somebody seems to be very hungry Our Laura Moore, you were saying that, wow, is he eating more? Yes, <laughs> he definitely is. I think that, uh, well, this is this is just um, quite something. I think, you know, he's hungry. I, I thought maybe he couldn't fit any more in that big belly of his, but clearly he can. And that's why he's enjoying it. Also, um, maybe he's trying to eat some of it before anything catches it. Maybe he's digested some of it. I mean, it was over 12 hours ago that we saw him make the kill, and that's likely when he started eating. So if he hasn't eaten for the last few hours, maybe he's digested some of the meat already, and that's why he's decided to go and have another bite. Seems like he's quite content with what he's got and left, and there it seems to be there's still tender pieces of, uh, of this piglet that he's busy eating. The meat is still quite pretty and red, so I'm sure he's enjoying it. Rashni, hey, you say you're having breakfast together with Tingana. <laughs> well, isn't that quite something? Not every day you get a leopard to join you on the breakfast table. I wonder, are you also having bacon for breakfast? You can hear some of the crunching of the bones. I think he's got into, there we go, a bit of a tougher part. And they will eat little pieces of bone. They also need that calcium in their diet. And I think he's just actually just trying to get to the more interesting bits in there. Fighting it off. So you see he's doing a combination of things with his mouth now. So he's using his tongue to try and get some of that meat off the skin or, or, or off the bone. And then when he goes and, you know, puts his head sideways like that, likely he's just trying to cut a, a, a chunk of meat because his teeth work like a zisser if he, if he puts them in that particular position. So, you know, there's a bit of twist and turning and then licking to try and make sure that he is able to get all of the meat off the skin and off the bone. <coughs> I'm really so surprised that you're eating more. But I suppose he doesn't get to be this size just by eating or nibbling on little things here and there. Get to be the size because you eat all your food. Kim, you're wondering if the cat family eats less during the winter month. Um, no. So when it's winter and it's cold, uh, all of us mammals, we actually need to eat a bit more. You'll find it maybe in winter you get hungry all the time to, to be able to keep warm. Because when we eat, we metabolize that food and that's what keeps our, our temperature at a certain level. And in the winter months, I find it that actually cats might have a slightly higher chance of success because a lot of the animals, the antelope, their prey species are in a weakened physical condition. The grass isn't as, pal as palatable or as nutritious. There isn't as much water all around. So I think they are or they can be in, in a bit of a weakened state and that plays in favor of the predators. I think the way that we saw it yesterday, he was quite uh, lucky and maybe perhaps had the grass been a lot longer like in the winter months where everything is a lot thicker, maybe he wouldn't have been able to catch one of those piglets when he started running around after them. 
Do you see, even when he's eating, he's constantly alert of his environment. Oh. Is the sun bothering you? Almost like he's got a little house in between there. Perfect size. By the looks of him, I think it's just the upper part of the body that's left from from what I could see when he dragged it, when he moved it a few seconds ago. I think he is actually eating the top part. If I'm not mistaken, he's eaten one of the ears. <laughs> and I think he might be going on to the next one. keep you guys posted as the feeding goes along i'm sure it's a bit gruesome so let's go over to taylor and see how her luck is doing this morning <laughs> 